talking about the cold front, talking about Santa Claus coming to town, how he might need the rain boots and the tarp on his sleigh. You have a full plate tonight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But today it was beautiful. Today it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So I hope you got out and enjoyed it because it's going to look much different come just 24 hours. Today's high 74 degrees in Tucson, the average 64 degrees. So 10 degrees above the average and the record 79 degrees here in Tucson. So not far off. It's 74 today in Nogales, 71 in Sierra Vista and 71 as well in Douglas. Now we have low pressure off the Pacific Northwest. That's bringing a lot of rainfall to areas like Northern California and portions of Oregon. That's going to be the weather maker that moves into our area over the next 24 hours. And that is why there is a winter weather advisory in effect. Now this is for the higher terrain. So this includes Mount Lemon, Summer Haven, low visibilities are possible and slip road conditions. So this is tomorrow at 5 p.m. until Wednesday at 5 p.m. So just be careful on the roadways tomorrow because rain and snow is moving through. So let's time this out. When are we going to see the rain and the snow start to move in? Well, by tomorrow at noon, we're going to see the clouds start to increase and thicken. And then by tomorrow afternoon, 6 p.m., that's when we could see some light to moderate rainfall move through southern Arizona. By Tuesday evening into the overnight hours on Wednesday, that's when we're going to see a lot more of that pink and purple that indicates rain snow mixture and mountain snow. Yes, we could see the mountain snow return as early as Wednesday morning. Now, how much rainfall could we receive here in Tucson come Tuesday into Wednesday? Well, it looks like we could receive about a third of an inch here in Tucson, lesser amount south and east of the Tucson Metro. And by Saturday, we could see up to a half inch of rain here in Tucson. Snowfall amounts will drop to about 8,000 feet by Tuesday evening and then dropping as low as 4,500 to 5,000 feet by Wednesday morning. Four to seven inches possible around Summer Haven, but up to 10 inches of snow possible in localized area amounts. Now, temperature wise, we are going to drop to the 40s for nighttime lows tonight. We'll warm up to the 60s tomorrow for daytime highs, so we're not going to reach that 70 degree mark. And for Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, 40s as well for nighttime lows and upper 50s to low 60s for daytime daytime highs, but it will be quite breezy tomorrow. So just keep that in mind if you're making any outdoor plans, but hopefully not because by tomorrow afternoon it is going to be rainy. 80% chance for rain tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday morning, and then we're going to drop our temperatures to the 50s by Wednesday and by next weekend, Saturday and Sunday in the 20s and 30s for nighttime lows. It is going to be quite chilly here. Yes, it is. Break out the parkas. Yeah, absolutely. I know we might need hot chocolate tomorrow. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah let's does. bring it in. All right, Stephanie, thank you.